From the kitchen, and today we're going to be showing you how to make inside out raspberry and apple. So, you'll need some raspberry jelly, three apples, you can use any you, you like. Today we're using some jazz apples, some lemon or lime juice, a muffin tin, a sharp knife, you'll need adult supervision to do that, a brush, and an ice cream scoop. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to slice your apples in half. So using a your knife, you're just going to cut them in half. You might want to get an adult to do this if you're slightly, if you're a younger chef. Um, but if you know how to use a knife, please be careful. Especially if your apples are cold, they can tend to be quite hard. So you're just going to pop them over here while you slice. While I slice all three. Now, I would recommend using a green apple over a red apple. But we couldn't find any green apples to do this recipe in, the, in our supermarket. So instead we're just using these red jazz apples. Um, which have a really nice flavour. But we're not going to need most of the flesh. We'll need some of it though. Last one. Let's cut that open. Okay. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to score, again get an adult to help you with this, along the outside being careful to leave a bit of the flesh like this. Because we're going to scoop this out and we're going to fill it with our raspberry jelly. By the way, if you don't have raspberry jelly you can use any other flavour you like, strawberry, lemon lime, orange, anything you want. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to get an ice cream scoop and you're going to very carefully scoop out the flesh of your apple, like this. Um, you can use a melon baller, which might be a bit easier, but if you don't, just be very careful while you're using an ice cream scoop. I don't have a melon, ball melon baller, so I'm just using an ice cream scoop here. If you wanted to, you could cut the flesh into cubes while it's still in the apple half. Um, that might be slightly harder, so just be careful and remember to um, ask an adult for knife, to use a knife. So you're just going to scoop out as much flesh as, flesh as possible, but you want to keep some in there. Like that. So you should end up with like a little bowl like this. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to brush your apple with either the lime juice or the lemon juice that you squeezed or got out the bottle or whatever. This is because if you leave apples out for too long they tend to go quite brown. So the citrus juice just stops them from going brown. You don't need too much. And you're just going to place them in your muffin tin like that. I'll be back in a few minutes while I just quickly finish the other six, the other half off camera guys so we've brushed our apples and we've scooped out the flesh so now what you're going to do i forgot to mention this earlier you'll need 100 millilitres of water and you're just going to boil that in the kettle okay guys so our water's just boiled so what we're going to do now is we're going to break the cubes of jelly into the jug i've got my assistant here to help little moo um, if you don't have jelly cubes, then you're most likely to find the jelly powder. Uh, you need one or the other, um, just follow the instructions. It's usually to dissolve the jelly in 100 ml of boiling water, which is what we're going to do now. Let it dissolve and then add some cold water. So we'll be back once it's dissolved. Okay, so now we're going to add a pint of cold water. Our jelly. Just need a bit more. Like this. And this is just going to cool it down before it goes in the fridge so it's not boiling. Just give it a good whisk. Yep, that's fine. 
This is raspberry flavoured jelly. Okay, so now we're going to pour our um, jelly mixture into the apples. We're just going to fill them until they're just about to the top like this. And you're going to do all of them. If you have some jelly mixture left over, that's no problem. Um, you could just maybe make a bit of jelly in a like a, like a dish or something. And then you'll have some for later. There we go. Now these are filled with jelly. Okay, so now I've just put um, our apples into the fridge. And you're just going to want them to set for about two to six hours. Um, or just until they become firm. At the moment they're liquid. But just check back on them every hour or so to see how they're doing. Okay guys, so now I'm just um, cutting up the apples. And it took about um, about three hours with the jelly cubes. I know it does take faster with the powder than the cubes. Um, so I'm just cut these up and I'm gonna put them back in the fridge so that way they can hold their shape. But they do look good. we go. Now don't be alarmed because they are quite wobbly. You need to set them in the fridge for a while but it's better if you can cut them so they can, there's a bit more kind of air. Like this. And I'm just arranging them on the plate nicely. You'll see that in a bit. So yeah, just cutting some apples, here we go. These are great. Um, I would have used the powder because it sets up a lot easier, but we didn't, I couldn't find any. So I'm just using, um, I just used the cubes. I think I need to get a bigger plate out. Hold on a second. Okay guys, so there you have it. Um, apple and raspberry. Thank you. Bye.